electric field and electric field lines before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of unique and simple lectures for free firstly let me teach you about action at a distance force we know that there is a spherical region around the earth known as a gravitational field this concept was firstly given by Sir Isaac Newton. Now let consider an object present in the gravitational field. This object experiences the downward pulling force of the earth known as a gravitational force or gravity. So this object accelerates towards the earth due to gravitational force or gravity. Now let consider another object outside the gravitational field. Does this object experience gravitational force or gravity? The answer is no. This object doesn't experience the downward pulling force because it is outside the gravitational field. So we define gravitational field as the spherical region around the earth where an object experiences the downward force. Let me repeat it. The spherical region around the earth where an object experiences the downward force. Secondly, gravitational force is the attractive force that pulls objects towards the earth. Remember that gravitational force is an action at a distance force. It means that it can work from a distance. Secondly, gravitational force is always attractive force and acts in downward direction. From this example, we learn two fundamental concepts. Firstly, there is gravitational field around the earth. Secondly, we learn that an object present in a gravitational field of the earth experiences the downward force of gravity. Now, what is electric field? Well, we know that like charges repel and unlike charges attract. But how the like charges repel and unlike charges attract? Well, it was Michael Faraday who firstly put forward the theory of electric field. Now let consider two big charges, positive and negative. According to Michael Faraday, there is electric field around this positive charge and there is also electric field around this negative charge. Now what is a test charge? A test charge is a small positive charge. It has negligible effect on the electric field of other charges. For instance, it will not distort the electric field of positive or negative charge. Now let consider that I bring a test charge inside the electric field of positive charge and negative charge. This test charge experiences the force of electric field of positive charge. And this test charge also experiences the force of electric field of negative charge. So here test charge experiences repulsive force and here test charge experiences attractive force. Now if a test charge is present outside the electric field, does it experience any repulsive or attractive force? The answer is no because it is outside the spherical region. Thus we define electric field as a spherical region around a charged particle where test charge experiences attractive or repulsive force is called electric field. Let me repeat it. A spherical region around a charged particle where test charge experiences attractive force or repulsive force is called electric field. Note it down that the attractive or repulsive force in electric field is called electrostatic force. Thus we learn two important concepts. Firstly, there is a spherical region around any charged particle in which test charge experiences either attractive or repulsive force. 
Secondly, this attractive or repulsive force within electric field is called electrostatic force. Now, what are electric field lines? Well, consider two charges, positive and negative. As we learned in the previous slide that if I bring a test charge near a positive charge, there will be repulsion between them and test charge will move away in outward direction. So we say that electric field lines originate on positive charges. Secondly, if I bring a test charge near a negative charge, there will be attraction between them. So we say that electric lines terminate on negative charges. The imaginary lines that indicates the direction of electric field is called electric field lines. Secondly, we can also define electric field lines as a path along which a positive test charge would move if it is freely allowed to do so. Let me repeat it. A path along which a positive test charge would move if it is freely allowed to do so. Thus remember that electric field lines originate outwards on positive charges and terminate inward on negative charges. Finally, let me teach you the properties of electric field lines. Well, electric field lines are imaginary. Secondly, they never intersect each other. Thirdly, when the electric field is stronger, the field lines are closer to each other. For example, at point A, electric lines are closer and here electric field is strong. While at point B, field lines are away and here electric field is weak. Fourthly, electric field lines are perpendicular to the surface charge. Fifthly, the number of field lines is directly proportional to the magnitude of charge. Sixthly, if the charge is single, then they start or end at infinity. This was all about electric field and electric field lines.